Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to convert a string literal to the double literal. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. In Java, there are multiple ways of converting a string literals to double literal types, okay? How that is possible? By writing the Java program, there are multiple ways. So these are the three different ways I found it out. I'm going to practically demonstrate all these three ways for you. So you can use any of these ways according to your requirement to convert a string literal to a double literal in Java programs, okay? By writing the Java programs. So the first one is, first one is double dot parse double, or you can use double dot value of, okay? Any of these things you can use. So to demonstrate them, first I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a new class. I'll just name this class as, I'll just give some random name or something like string to double demo, string to double demo, double demo with main method I'll create. Once the class, some random class name that we have given and with the main method got created, once the class and the main method got created here, what I will do here is, just give me a second, what I'll do here is, I'll just increase this font a bit. The font is looking very low or small. Okay, here I'm going to write the Java program for converting the string literal to double literal using any of these ways, okay? So first, string literal, okay? String str is equal to, here make sure that the string literal should have the double data type, okay? Inside the double quotes, even though it's a string literal, anything that is surrounded by if I give Arun here, this is called a string literal because this particular text is surrounded by double quotes. What if I surround this uh, thing with a number? This is also a string literal only. Even though it, this is a number, but it's surrounded by double quotes means it's also a string literal. What if I give something like 9.15? This is also a string literal, guys, because this particular 9.15 double type of literal is surrounded by double quotes. So it's not a double literal, it's a string literal, okay? If you have such kind of string literals where double Okay, data type type of values are enclosed inside the double quotes in the string literals, then you can convert. Okay, if I write something like this, system dot out dot println, if I say str plus one, just assume that what is happening here, guys, you will not get the, here plus will not act like addition, guys, because this is not a double literal, it is a string literal. So what will happen is 9.15 string text will be appended with one. So 9.151 will be printed, you see? Instead of 10.15, it will print 9.151 will be printed, okay? It will be appended as a string literal only, guys, okay? This will, this is a string, guys, it will be appended to the other member, okay? This will be appended to another number, 9.51, 9.15 got appended with the number one and together it became 9.151, okay? Now, the other stuff is, what if I convert this string literal to the real double literal, then if I perform this addition operation, what will happen? We'll see that, okay? Here concatenation is happening because str is a string literal. Even though this is a double literal surrounded by double quotes means it's not a double literal, it's a string literal, okay? Double type of value, but surrounded by double quotes is string literal, okay? So here output also str1, str plus one also is coming as a uh, string literal only. But what I will do here is, I'll convert this string literal to the double literal as per that answer for this particular question, I'm going to write a Java program or code or statement, which will convert the string literal to the double literal here. So how to convert that guys? Simple, whatever the type you want to get converted to, that predefined wrapper class you write, double dot, okay? You can use parse double method, double dot parse double method, and in that you pass this particular string, which can be converted to the double literal type, okay? Here this string literal has some value, which can be convertible to the string literal type, uh, I mean, double literal type. So pass double will return you the double, double primitive data type. Double D is equal to, I'll say. And here, if I write system dot out dot print and D plus one, this time you'll not get 9.151, you'll not get. Instead, you will get 10.15 kind of stuff you'll get in the output case, okay? Right click run as Java application, D plus one. Here addition will happen, earlier concatenation happened, guys, okay? You see 10.15 got saved, okay? What if this, this string, if I give another string like str is equal str2 is equal to Arun, okay, is this possible to convert this string literal into a double value? 
that is not possible because text cannot be converted to value. If you still try to do so, what will happen? You will get an exception, number format exception. You just try to do this double dot, parse double of, parse double of str2 if I give, okay? And here, it, the return type, it will mention as double only, but ultimately, double e is equal to, if I print it out, sum.out.println, this statement will not be printed as here. Here itself, when you are trying to convert a string, which is having some string text type into double value type, which is not convertible. You see, how can you convert some text into a number? That's not possible. This kind of string literal, you can convert into a number, numerical decimal type, because, you know, 9.15 is a double type, right? Double value type, okay? So even though it's string literal, we can convert. But here, inside the double quote string text is there that whatever you do, guys, cannot convert. If you run this code, you'll get, this will be printed, but after printing this, uh, all this output, after converting this 9.15 string literal to 9.15 double literal and performing the addition and printing the result, right? In this line, since it cannot convert the Arun text into the number, this statement 14th line will give you number format exception as I show, as I'm trying to show you around. I've run the code, I see. You see, after printing all the output here, you see number format exception came. The reason be behind this number format exception is the input string Arun cannot be converted to a decimal number or something like that. Okay, double literal type, it cannot be convertible to. So that's why it's not possible. I'll just comment out this stuff so that I can demonstrate few more things for you. So I covered uh, double dot parse double to convert. Okay, and also I explained about number format exception, which type of string literals can be converted to double type and which type of string literals cannot be converted to double type if covered. Now, the next thing is double dot value of string, okay? Double dot value, instead of using parse double, double dot parse, okay? Instead of using double dot uh, parse double, we can use, we can use something like that. Un uncomment this one, we don't have to comment everything, okay? We can, you know, comment only few things like this, this one I can comment, okay? Fine, because this is resulting in number format exception, right? So I have just done that. Or you can move it to the bottom also, no problem. Okay, I commented that. So apart from using parse double static predefined method of the double class by passing the string literal, which can be convertible to the double literal type. Okay, we are able to do that. Similarly, this double class also has one more method, guys. That is, okay, of that is value of okay value of string. You have to say double dot value of string str. You just give str, which can be convertible. You should not give str2 because that is not convertible. You will get number format exception if you do so in this case also. This value of method is returning the object of this double class, guys. Here, uh, variable of the double data type, it's giving them primitive data type value and storing it to this. But here, object is being returned, guys. Okay, here, double primitive data type. Here, double object, okay? Double wrapper class. Double uh, f is equal to, okay? But that's okay. System.out.println, f plus one, you can do that still. Okay, no problem. Okay, unboxing, auto, one, uh, auto unboxing, auto uh, boxing, everything will happen internally in Java. There's no need to worry that you, you see, here the return type of, what is the difference between parse double and value of, even though they are, they are converting the string literal into the double literal in these cases when it is possible to convert, but still they will, well, they will work in the same format, okay? They will work in the same format. Either you can use double dot parse double or you can use double dot value of to convert the string literal, which can be convertible into the double literal type, okay? You'll get the same thing, but here the return type of the parse double is primitive da data type, that is double primitive data type. The return type of the value of method is double, wrap, uh, you know, wrapper class, double wrapper class, guys. If I run this code, right click run a Java application, you'll get the same output case, that is 10.15 uh, will be printed here also whatever the 10.15 that got printed here after converting to the parse table kind of using that method, right? The same thing 10.15 got printed here also. And there is one more way guys. Okay. This is not the only two ways we have. We have one more way that is we have to create an object for this decimal format uh, class, a predefined class in Java known as decimal format. Okay. So create an object for the decimal format class, decimal format D DF. Okay. Decimal format DF is equal to new decimal format. Decimal format this is another way of converting control shift to decimal format will be imported by from java.x package. And here, what I have to simply do is df dot df dot parse. You have to use a predefined method known as parse method df dot parse of string. What is a string? str is a string. Okay. Just give something that can be convertible. So the parse method, uh, you see some, you can ignore the exception in real time. You have to use a try catch block anyhow. But here, parse method is returning you a number, object of the number, number, number is equal to like this. And from this number, from this number, we have to get the string value. How? Number dot double 
value you have to call. Okay. This method will return you the primitive data type value double g is equal to and print it out. That's it. Simple system dot order print l and g plus one. I'll say if the addition is happening means uh, the string literal has been successfully converted to the double literal. I can understand. Okay. That's the proof. So there's another way, guys. There are three ways. Okay, you see the same output 10.15, 10.15, 10.15. But for the first way, you know, uh, without converting the string literal, if you are trying to perform the concatenation, right? Uh, here concatenation is happening instead of addition. Okay. So, guys, with this, uh, with this, uh, with this explanation, hope you got uh, multiple ways of uh, you know converting the string literal to double literal types. Okay, literal type uh, data in Java. Okay, the, by writing the Java programs and uh, also explained you where you will get for number format exception that particular string literal type cannot be converted at any cost into a double literal type then you will get number format exception if it is convertible you will not get the number format exception it will get converted to the double literal type okay so with practical demonstration i've answered this question for you and you can take a screenshot of this code guys whatever the screenshot whatever the code that i'm showing you you can take a screenshot save in your machine and practice in your machine so that you also will get some confidence so that's all for this session thank you bye bye